Hello and welcome to the Junior British Bouldering Championships 2019 at Harrow Wall. I'm not competing today, so let's go and chat to some people who are. Follow me. Okay, so let me give you a brief rundown on how today's going to work. There are eight categories total. There's Youth C, Youth B, Youth A, and Junior Male and Female categories. In each category, there are eight boulder problems that they need to try. They have five attempts maximum at each of the boulder problems and two hours to try them, and the boulder problems are hard. It's marked as attempts for tops, and then the number of attempts to get zone holds. We then count up the scores and see who the winners are. The top six go into the finals, which are held later today. Very, very hard to give an accurate estimation, but do you have a rough gauge of how difficult some of the climbs are? Oh, the, the style is so difficult, it's really insecure. So it's one go it might feel V1 when you do it, when you do everything right, and the next go it might feel V8. Generally, like, kind of V4 to V8, somewhere in that region. Are you excited to watch the uh, finals competition later on today and see how they get on with those blocks? Yeah, it's a... Uh, stressful part for us because we're like, will this work? Um, but yeah, once it once it's go, then yeah, it's great to sit back and go. There's nothing more we can do now. Competing in the Youth A female category today. How have you found it so far? Uh, it's good so far. It's just loads of people, so it's fun. I've heard the climbs are very, very difficult. Do you have any particular aspirations for today's event? Uh, I want to make finals, so hopefully that will happen. That's a good aspiration. And uh, have you done this one before, the Junior BBCs? Uh, yeah, I've done it for the past few years, so it's quite good. Okay. Best result so far? Uh, one last year. So. Oh, so final seems quite likely. Oh, well, carry on then, Megan. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Thank you. Good luck. Bye. I'm here with non-stop crusher Nathan Whaley, who is competing in the junior male category today. Yes. Junior. For the last time? No, I've got one more year. Hey, fantastic. Yeah. Um, have you had a look at the blocks? How do they yeah, look? So I've had a look around. Uh, they look quite hard, to be honest. None look too easy, none, no jug, jug ladders or anything like that. So they do look pretty hard today. Yeah. Do you have any sort of tactics for this sort of day? Uh, you've always got to try and get your first top out of the way. So you don't, you've got to like, get that one problem out of the way. So you try and get that first. And then after that, you just have to go around trying them. You, you try the hardest ones in the middle because you don't want to lose all your energy on the on the lower the lower like star ones and like you've got to leave dinos you can leave them till the end because they don't waste too much energy that kind of thing. Introducing Sammy Oaks, who's competing in junior male. How are you finding today, Sam? Uh, good. It's quite hard so far. Um, really hot in here, so yeah, it's kind of sweaty and not very nice at the minute, but. Should be alright. It, it's hot and sweaty for everybody, so at least it's nice and even. Have you had a look around at the climbs? Is there any that you think is particularly harder than the others? Um, I don't know, they all look pretty hard to be fair, but we'll see I guess. I've only got on two so far. Yeah. Well they've got to be hard, they're supposed to be challenging you guys. What is your involvement in the event today, Neil? Well, La Sportiva are sponsoring the event. I mean, there's loads of athletes out there wearing our shoes already. Some who don't wear them, who want to try them on. Um, you know how climbing's going these days, like indoor bouldering is so specific. La Sportiva have made a real push with shoes that are designed specifically for indoor competitions. It's, it's really important for us to support something like this. It's amazing to see how it's all changed. I mean, nowadays, it, like indoor climbing is almost fused with parkour and you've got to be good at the running jumps and the paddle dinos. I mean, it, for my generation, it was just about pulling really hard on small holds. So it's not enough just to be strong. You've got to have the movement and if anything, you really need to learn the movement before you get strong because we see climbers who get strong first really struggle to learn the movement afterwards. So it's definitely not just all about training. Okay, it's getting a little bit tense now. There's only a few minutes left of the qualification round and then we'll be unveiling the finals boulders for those who have made it into the top scores. I'm going to go and find a good place to watch. Enjoy, I'll see you next time.